Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today is day 112 of the 365 day trivia road trip. It is a pit stop trivia quiz. The pit stop trivia quiz is a lot like a lightning round. The questions are much shorter. The answers come much quicker. The name of the game today is speed. We're in, we're out. We've got one today, tomorrow, we're back on the road on Monday. Good luck. Question number one. According to the song by Dean Martin, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's what? That's an easy one. The answer is amore. Question number two. Writer and voice actor Tom Bodette is famously recognized as the voice of what American hotel chain slogan, we'll leave the light on for you. That would be Motel 6. Question number three. First appearing in the 1940s, what is the name of the Looney Tunes character who always thinks he saw a putty tat? That would be the Tweety Bird. Question number four. What word from the Russian language meaning fast is also a small tavern or a cafe, such as the Italian ones you find in malls and in shopping centers. What is that word? From Russian for bistra, the answer is bistro. Question number five, in what 1961 children's novel by Roald Dahl is the main character, James Henry Trotter, orphaned when his parents are tragically eaten by a rhinoceros? The answer is James and the Giant Peach. Question number six, in humans, what are the sharp teeth at the front of the mouth that bite into food and cut it into smaller pieces? What are those called? The molars are in the back. The incisors are in the front. Incisors is the answer. Question number seven. In the Spider-Man films and comics, what is the alter ego of Norman Osborn, who flies on his glider dropping bombs and missiles? Norm Osborn's alter ego is the Green Goblin. Question number eight, German for lightning war. What is the term that describes the military tactics of the German army in World War II? The answer is Blitzkrieg. Question number nine. The huge concrete statue of Christ the Redeemer is a popular landmark that stands atop which mountain in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil? That mountain is Corcovado. Question number 10. The Aborigines were the original inhabitants of what country? The answer is Australia. Question number 11. What is the name for the type of fossilized tree resin 
often turned into jewelry that is a naturally occurring polymer. The answer is amber. Question number 12. What are the two shapes of photoreceptors found on the retina of the eye that are sensitive to color and light? There's two specific shapes. What are they? The answer is rods and cones. Question number 13, what is the first and last name of Bruce Wayne's loyal, trusted butler who is one of the few characters to know him by both identities? The answer is Alfred Pennyworth. Question number 14, what is the title of the 1988 Walt Disney animated film in which Billy Joel provided the voice of the character of Dodger? The answer is Oliver and Company. Question number 15, Marlon, Damon, Sean, and Keenan Ivory are brothers of comedy, television, and film who share what last name? The answer is Wayans. Question number 16. If you were watching a financial news report and saw the acronym NYSE, what would the letters NYSE stand for? The answer is the New York Stock Exchange. Question number 17. By what name is the line of latitude at zero degrees better known? Lines of latitude lay down. Zero is the equator. Question number 18. After becoming prime minister in 1922, what man molded the Italian government to the ideals of fascism and entered World War II on the side of Germany? The answer is Mussolini, Benito Mussolini. Question number 19. Which popular video game franchise has released games with the subtitles Modern Warfare and Black Ops? The answer is Call of Duty. Question number 20. What candy company, also a Roald Dahl literary character, produces runts, nerds, bottle caps, and everlasting gobstoppers? The answer is Willy Wonka, or the Willy Wonka Candy Company. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Check back tomorrow. It'll be day 113, another pit stop trivia quiz, and then we're back with the regular size quiz on Monday. Tuesday, I'm headed to Miami. We're going to be gone for a cruise. Hopefully, I get all these quizzes done and uploaded ahead of time. I'll be there during the live streams, the live premieres, um, but the quizzes will be pre-recorded. So I'll see you then. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker. In establishing the Federal Reserve Banking System, the United States was divided geographically into how many districts?
according to the Federal Reserve Banking System, the United States is divided geographically into 12 different districts. The answer is 12. Whoever got closest wins that point. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.